The UN summit on climate change drew 150 world leaders to Paris, becoming one of the largest diplomatic events in history. The previous largest diplomatic event was when Winston Churchill ate a whole German cake. On Sunday leading up to the conference, over 2,000 environmental demonstrations took place around the globe. The protests in Paris itself were so heated that riot police used tear gas to break up the crowds. So Parisians have had a really relaxing few weeks. Clearly, the world wants action on global warming. 97% of scientists now agree that climate change is a real and imminent threat. And the other 3% agree that paychecks from Exxon are nice. Virtually every year since 1998 has seen a new record for the warmest year in history. And 2015 is on track to be the highest yet. Overall, the world is 1.7 degrees warmer now than it was in 1880, and our presidents are 98 degrees hotter. It would take energy generated by 400,000 daily atomic explosions the size of Hiroshima to warm the world at the same speed, which would honestly be metal as f Until recently, the right completely denied any problem, and solutions proposed by the left were almost ludicrously inadequate. Eat less meat, use better light bulbs, take one less flight a year. That one actually gave me a great excuse to skip my dad's funeral, so thanks, Al Gore. Ironically, global warming's impact on the economy is driving a shift in politics. China, the biggest emissions culprit, finally took notice when a study showed that changes in rainfall were decreasing electrical production at the Three Gorges Dam and wreaking havoc on roads and railway lines. Until the study, the government listed the cause of damages as people not working through their lunch break. Also, nearly every island nation will lose its tourist industry if the oceans rise as projected. The Bahamas would see a decrease of $900 million in revenue by the year 2050. That's almost 10% of their GDP. The potential for profit in clean energy is a further motivation for business leaders. In his book, The Powerhouse, Steve Levine outlines the corporate race for viable energy storage, the current weak link in our electrical grid. Bill Gates came to Paris to announce the creation of a fund that will bring billions worth of investments into R&D in that area. The UN summit will see emissions pledges from 170 countries that approach a solution. But investment from the private sector will be the cornerstone in ending climate change. Just like setting off nukes will be the cornerstone of my band's live shows. Hey, thanks for watching The Daily Desk. If you like what you saw, click to subscribe, comment below, share the link with a friend or an enemy. I don't care.